Okay, I am choosing to go for the uh, quick fix on this one. I'm going to dump out whatever is in the gas tank. I'm thinking it's a lot of water. And then I'm going to extend this spring out so there's not so much spring tension. Actually, I just did it right there. I just extended that maybe about a quarter inch. And that's going to affect the uh, RPM on this thing as it's uh, as the governor is going back and forth um, regulating the RPM. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out into this pan. See if there's any water in there. And then we'll hit squirt the uh, primer button a bunch of times to make sure that that gets all out of there. And I'm going to plug in my compressor real quick and blow that out as much as possible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. All right, I dumped as much of that out as I can. It smells pretty stale. Let me try to show you here what's going on down inside of there. You can see, see some of the water floating around down in there. So there's still stuff I can't even dump out. We're going to try to maybe go outside of the garage here and try to dump that out, get it out a little better. Um, yeah. Probably best to take this off completely, but I'm just going to try to dump it out as best I can, shake it upside down, get it all out, and then I'll shove a rag down in there to sop up what's left. And then I'll go ahead and prime and squirt out what's remaining in there as far as the water goes. And we're going to give this another shot using gas in here, get all this water out. Okay, I just took this outside and shook it all up upside down and backwards and shaking it around, got as much of the remaining whatever out of the gas tank. And so I'm going to take this rag, okay, just the section of it. And I've got these forceps, great tool to have in your box, especially for these small engines or picking up fasteners and screws, whatever, that you've dropped nuts. A lot of different uses like this. You don't have to worry about losing this rag down in here. So I'm gonna use this to sop up the rest of what's left. I'm being careful because there's a tube that comes down below this carburetor pickup tube. So I'm being careful not to uh, strike that, put too much pressure on that. I'm gonna lean it over so the remaining uh, liquid is uh, coming down to this end. And so it's looking pretty good. Show you what I got there. Okay, down in there, much better, much cleaner. Down inside of there now. Don't see any any liquid at all. I think I'm pretty safe to put some gas in there now. I'll go ahead and purge out what's left. Uh, in the tube. Doesn't sound like there's much in there. And now I'm going to give it a quick blowout with some compressed air. You know, if you don't have compressed air, do what you can. Maybe let it sit overnight. Uh, use, use some paper towels, shove them down in there, make sure you got all the moisture out, whatever you got to do.